Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Ashton Ramp and this is my experience at Tottenham Hotspur st uh, Stadium. Now, before I stop, sorry if I didn't upload uh, during the week. Um, I was very ill, as you can tell by my voice, I'm still ill. Uh, my throat's getting better. But yeah, um, during the week I was going to do a video. Uh, I tried to get a ticket. It never happened. By Friday, a friend of mine was going to go. Uh, with his son, never happened. Do you want the tickets? And I bought the tickets of him. So me and my father was really lucky. So yeah, um, we went to see uh, the Jags and the Dolphins. Um, I didn't. Uh, I usually see both, but I couldn't this year. Guttering. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, at least I saw one of the games. Was very excited. Uh, it would be the second time I've been to Tottenham as well, and I think uh, it was my dad's first time. Um, but yeah, um, let's get into this uh, experience. Before I start, uh, on the first NFL game uh, in London for the London Games, New York Jets and Falcons, well done to the Falcons, unlucky for, uh, for the Jets, uh, but the official attendance was 60,589. Uh, that's a lot of people. And then I went to the second game, which was this amount. Yep, as you can see. Dolphins and Jags, their game was, uh, their attendance was 60,784, which is, I think it's the most, I think, in the stadium, or most in uh, in the NFL London games. Um, whole thing was packed out, but amazing. Um, so, yeah, well done to them. All right, so let me get into it. First of all is the map. So, as you can see, um, I got the tickets off my mate. He said, you are, are going to be here which is 112 out of the whole layout. Before I went before, I used to be up there, right at the back. But we got ground floor, which is amazing. Um, and that is uh, the, the gate row and seat was... Ah, uh, here it is. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, Miami Dolphins at the Jacksonville Jags. Uh, date 17th of October, 2.30. Yep, gate 7, block 112, row 18, seat 364, and then remember Dad's 365. Um... If you look down in the description, I have uh, I did the I took the film uh, from my phone, um, which I'll talk about more because I missed the first bit. Um, I missed the anthems and everything because I was waiting in line for a beer. I got if I took uh, two o'clock, it took dead on 30, 40 minutes to get just uh, just you know just waiting in the queue. Very long winded, um, but yeah. Um, as I was waiting in, in the queue, I took pictures of the draft wine and soft drinks and as you can see um leave a comment tell me tell me what you think expensive not expensive me personally uh two years ago i went to tottenham uh with my boss from work and i went to wembley stadium with my dad and wembley was more expensive than tottenham back then and near enough it is the same now probably by 20 30 pence i mean it, you know i think it's like seven eight quid at wembley so it ain't too bad still. Um, yeah, six ninety for a Budweiser, six eighty for a Bud Light. I thought that was a bit strange. Ten pence difference on the alcohol volume. Uh, red wine, six pound eighty. White wine, six pound eighty. And soft drinks was three pound fifty each. And a bottle of still water, big bottle was uh, the five hundred ml bottle was two pound fifty. And then there's food. Okay, so here's the food bit. Now, I didn't get none of these food bits. Um, my dad got me like a steak and ale pie, <clears throat> really small, but I don't know how much that was. I think it was something like eight, nine, ten quid or something. Um, but as you can see, buddies, if I was up and zoom in, the ultimate beef patty with seasoned fries, uh, eleven forty nine. The double up fourteen forty nine. Seven fried chicken with fries, nine forty nine. Mushroom burger with fries, ten forty nine. Mexican poke bowl, ten forty nine. So basically over a ten uh, before, I think we had like hot dog and burger. Exactly the same thing. Um, back there, back in Tottenham, I think that was just a, just a tenner. But yeah, that's it. Um, that's the start of that. Now, so that's all the pictures. I didn't take pic uh, a lot of pictures. I took sugar tons of videos. And like I said, I'll leave a description down below. There'll be a YouTube link of what I recorded. My dad recorded the theme, like the, uh, sorry, the national anthems, the flags coming on. Um, he missed the mascot. There's a mascot that jumped down. 
but I think there's videos and all that of them uh, on YouTube. But he got the flags, I think he got National Anthem, and then um, on my Samsung, I video edited him and mine all together. So there's about 30, 40 minutes of footage. So that that's already out there on my YouTube channel, and I'll leave the link, like I said, in the uh, description. And then next week, I'll bring out individual videos of what I've done myself, um, because it's in 1080p on the video editor, but I recorded it in 4K, 60 frames per second, so you'll see it there uh, all throughout next week, um, every uh, 15 to 30 minutes. So, uh, yeah. Um, so I'll talk more about the experience. <clears throat> My experience. I had a great seat, though that was a great seat. Um, I wanted to, um, I tried to get the side, well, I thought he had a sideline one, but he said, you've got the M1. When you see the video footage, you'll see it is absolutely brilliant. Um, you can see straight down the other field anyway. Um, it, it, it was just amazing. The crowd, the atmosphere was amazing. If you're a first time goer, please do it. For the love of God, please do it. It was sensational. Going to these games is a, a, a real buzz. No one judges you either. I think that's one of the key things. You know, I live in London. Everyone judges everyone for anything and everything. It could be colour of your skin, religion, whatever sport you're into, whatever job you're into. Someone's got to complain about something. Man, I went, like, we both went there. We got on a train. To get down there, and we meet like a, we met um, a Steelers fan. This guy, um, great to talk to, and he guided us there really because I was on my Google Maps and pff, mate, he's just like, I know where I'm going. I know a quick way. Like, All right, and I was just talking to this guy. Why I become a Steelers fan? How I become a Steelers fan? Why I become a Steelers? Fan? All sorts, and then you just meet up with people down there in a stadium or at the pub before, all these different guys, you know, we're all talking about American football, no one's judging each other <coughs> about the teams or anything, it was just wicked, wicked experience, honest to God, brilliant, and like I said, as soon as you get down there, <coughs> the crowd is wild, everyone's wild, everyone wants to see American football, and I love it how NFL in London's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, like I said, we... We ain't seen the rest. I'm telling you now, we've not seen like the more rams for the people. Like my dad said in the 80s when the 49ers came to the old Wembley Stadium, you know, it was half empty, or at least half empty. Like there's 50% full. That was it. Now that's the 80s of the 49ers. So in the 80s, 50% full of Wembley. Now, like let's say two years ago, it was rammed out. Tottenham Stadium rammed out and I can't wait till next year because I will be going to one or two next year you better believe it um, but yeah there was TVs everywhere there is a market on ground floor somewhere you have to look for it around the stadium <clears throat> so as soon as you go when you finish the game go uh, you walk out before, uh, don't walk out the stadium but walk around the stadium there's a marketplace there that does hot dogs food and everything um I didn't go to that one this year. A friend of mine did. I spoke to him um, this morning, um, uh, afternoon, sorry. And he said, man, it was rammed. There's about two, three hours that was open till. Uh, but it's tellies everywhere. Tellies on the top. Showed that every game, every game, all of it, all games that was played on week six, it was there, man. And then beers were flowing, burgers, like food was coming out, pizzas as well, apparently. Like, it, it, it was electric. So look for this marketplace down there. I can't remember its full name. Um, it's like a marketplace. Yeah, look for it. And then straight after, I finished, came out, and yeah, I went straight home and, mate, you know, he went round to every Tottenham pub and, of course, TVs everywhere around the game. So, yeah, it, it, it was a crowd-pleasing atmosphere. I uh, 100% recommend it for your first time. And uh, if you enjoy it, get the tickets again. Go somewhere different. Try and get something more closer. If you went so, like, at the top, someone on Facebook, NFL UK, on Facebook, you, you pay like 60, 70 quid for a ticket. 
and he had a massive lot of like block which was sort of about ooh, let's have a look by the screen it's like his block was there he could just about see um the field goal it was like at an angle just just about see it around it but if you enjoyed it and you actually want to see more pay more for the ticket i mean we we paid back the my mate's one some two tickets something like 400 quid 430 quid a lot of money but like i said it, it's once a year in a lifetime to do it so yeah um that's it of my um experience like i said i'll leave the description down in the bottom which is the video in 1080p and next week keep an eye out monday all the way through to uh through during the week i think i've got about 32 33 vids in 4k uh some are short some are long so uh yeah um thank you very much for the 50 subscribers as well really fortunate i appreciate you guys subscribing if you're new subscribe i'll bring out nfl content of 49ers stuff uh, reviews, reactions, gaming, streaming, the full works. I do a bit of everything. So yeah, thank you very, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys uh, on the next video or stream.